hello guys welcome back to the channel uh, today let's look into this bring external data into contact page layout let's start this lab mm, let's launch it let's see where to start uh, yes this all were automatically set by salesforce all this data model and data like objects yes we need to start with the uh, enable data streams now search for data cloud in app launcher open it in a new tab uh, generally enabling of this data stream takes more time let's enable it and do the remaining part of the lab new data stream let's see for the instructions once Okay, enable new data stream with Salesforce CRM AI plus data and deploy it. Okay, CRM next AI plus data next. Next and deploy. This deployment could take around 5 to 10 minutes. Please wait until then. Yes, uh, not not to wait. Uh, let's do the remaining steps and come back to this and before checking on check challenge. The next one was uh, creating an identity resolution. Okay, this is ID. Okay, and this was identity resolution tab. Click on new next it was an individual huh? dmo was individual paste this ccid sorry this was the rule set name This was a description. Deactivate this. Click on save. Uh, this could take some time, two to three minutes. Let's wait until then. Yes, it has created successfully. Now we need to configure this rule set. Configure this. Go for the next. And now configure. Yes, is it was saying fuzzy name and normalized email? Uh, leave the all configurations as they were predefined. Click on save. Matching rule was updated. Now click on this run rule set. I had already clicked on that. Uh, I need to show some toast. I was waiting for it. Yes, you can see the toast right now. This will also take a 20 to 15 minute time because it needs to run for all the records existing in the Salesforce. So let's go ahead with remaining steps. Okay. Uh, now we'll go for data model and check whether this external relationship in external reservation, you could be able to find this relationship tab or not go for a data model and in external reservations check for relationships yes you could be able to find right if you are unable to find this record then do these steps given in the below like 5 to 7 and save it yes, we have that uh, all those records right so we can go for further steps okay now go for sales app and change this list view now edit the object
mm, data cloud related list we need to add a related list see this was the configuration they given we need to choose this external reservation object click on new search for external reservation next and paste the name which they had given here i had copied this sorry uh, and change this label as well now yes you can see that related list has been enabled now uh, search for any of the contacts sorry you can directly go from here as well yes uh, open this contact record page then click on edit now search for dynamic related list place it over here and in this search for external or oh, you can search for reservations directly now let's check ha huh. add these all fields and make sure to add this filter as well check in date check out date room type and reservation sorry check in date done room type and reservation status and remove this record id field now in filter condition add check in date does not equals to null not equals to null and click on done and save it sorry click on done and save it upon successful save uh, i had told you to open this uh, contact right please do an hard refresh on it you could be able to find that reservation tab then uh, go to data cloud and check for the data streams whether they were succeeded or not yes you could be able to find it last run success was success uh, come to identity solution see it was also succeeded now click check challenge yep it was done thank you thanks for watching